Today I'm riding my trusty steed down to Caxambas Park and they are unveiling a new police boat for the Marco Island Police Department. This is going to be really cool. Uh, who doesn't like police boats with flashy lights and sirens and all that good stuff, but um, seriously, the capabilities are going to be increased for the Marco Island Police Department and all first responders deserve the best equipment out there. Couple things I learned at the ribbon cutting or the christening of the new police boat was number one, it's been three years in the making. They've been working on that for three years. They've got that would make the third boat that Mark Island Police Department has. Um, they had two up until this point, but one is going to be taken out of service. And I guess it's got blisters on the hull. You don't know. In rough waters, it could break up. It's really. Uh, in poor shape they've gotten the full life out of that also there were a number of rescues uh, the one officer said that in the in the winter time the waters get rough and there's uh, rescues out there that they can't do because uh, the one smaller police boat that you saw in the video can't handle the offshore conditions so this one will take them out just a little bit further it's not you know not the end-all be-all but it's going to give them more capability also with those two 400 horsepower engines obviously that's going to help before they only had single engines and then there's a dive door you saw on the side of that boat and uh, that'll help them uh, entry and exit of the hey, entry and exit of the uh, boat when they have to do underwater type operations recoveries, things like this, so much more capable. The chief said, and I know in the audio is probably, you won't be able to hear much of what the chief said, but one thing she said was the three uh, individuals that designed the boat or um, put all the components together and, and put the specs together so that they would get the boat that would serve them the best, um, it's, it's strictly no bells and whistles and just an extremely functional boat which is what they need and on top of that it's a good looking boat but uh it'll serve them they'll get full service out of that you won't have to worry about them not uh not getting the full life out of that boat and i thought it was a good event everybody's very polite nice happy of course and went well for everyone and if you found this video interesting or informative please do me a favor hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video